Welcome back to Athens, Greece. That's kind of the way I feel every night as I carry my bag up to the stadium for the evening's events. It's gotten heavier every day since we've been here. This is the ninth and final day of the Track and Field World Championships. Ready for the men's 5,000-meter final, the American hope is the Indiana Hoosier Bob Kennedy. Kennedy has often been called the best American distance runner since the late Steve Prefontaine. Munich, 1972, Prefontaine runs a gutsy race, but in the end, he will finish fourth as the flying pin, Lassie Barron, wins the first of his two Olympic 5,000-meter titles. And there's Ian Stewart passing the great Steve Prefontaine for a third, and Lasse Barron did an incredible run. And Bob Kennedy has chosen probably the deepest and most competitive field at this championship race in which to try to medal. Well, the field does include Daniel Coleman of Kenya, second fastest performer in history. And not only that, the great Roger Bannister, first man under four minutes for the mile. This man, this summer, ran two consecutive miles under four minutes back to back. Also here, Dieter Baumann of Germany, gold medalist in Barcelona, fourth last summer in Atlanta. Here's the start list for the 5,000-meter uh, run. Bob Kennedy hoping to be the first American to win a medal in world or Olympic competition since 1964. Bob Sewell won the gold, Bill Dellinger the bronze at the Tokyo Olympics. So Kennedy has his work cut out for him here after finishing sixth in Atlanta last year, taking the lead with a couple of laps to go and then finishing sixth. Dieter Baumann taking the lead, but that's just to get out in front, not be in trouble, and be comfortable. There's Bob Kennedy coming along, staying out from the rail, 12 and a half laps around the track. So Dieter Baumann does uh, grab the early lead, and Daniel Coleman of Kenya settles into second to the pre-race favorites. They're right there at the front of the pack with Bob Kennedy now biding his time about sixth or seventh at the moment. Now, interesting that Dieter Baumann should lead this race because he wants it slow at the end. He's very, very fast off of a slow pace, and yet here he is at the start of this race taking the pace out. Bob Kennedy in lane two. What you want to do at this point in the race, stay out of trouble, be in the first three or four, and if he's smart, he should watch Komen. When Komen goes, he goes. That's his best chance for a medal, in my estimation. Just keep his eyes on Komen, run right behind him, and when he goes, Bob Kennedy should go. Well, Kennedy moving up a little bit and uh, now goes into third place as uh, Bauman continues to lead. And Naya Riki of uh, Kenya has taken over second. Coleman back into fourth place behind Kennedy. In these races, they don't have pace setters. Now in Europe, the tradition is when you want a record, you have a pace setter, sometimes even for several laps and more than one pace setter. But in championship races, no, it's different. And that may work to Bob Kennedy's advantage because he's a very good tactical runner. He knows when to move. He was a miler when he first started out, so he's got good finishing speed. This kind of race is more a positioning race. You want to be in position when the real running starts. And Kennedy is in position at the moment anyway. He's right behind the leader, Dieter Baumann. And uh, after his semifinal race, Bob Kennedy commented that uh, this 5,000 final has a whole lot of talent. Unfortunately for me, I think the men's 5,000 is probably the deepest event in the world of track and field. And there's probably eight guys that have legitimate shots at medals. And, uh, you know, if you run this race Sunday, and you get three medalists and you're on the same exact race a week later, you're going to get three different people probably. And that's the nature of the event, and you just have to be on on, the, on that day and uh, hope for the best. And Kennedy continues to run in second place behind the leader, Dieter Bauman, with Tom Nayariki of Kenya in third. El Hassan Lassini of Morocco is fourth. And they're going along at a pace that would bring them through in about 13 minutes and 30 seconds, or about 13 minutes for three miles, 4.20 per mile pace. And Bob Kennedy is in this position where he is now because not that he feels Bauman is a threat to win off of this pace. He's waiting for someone to go by, and he wants to be right there when it happens so he can follow as well. 
Again, 68 seconds for that lap, which means now they're really jogging. It's, it's become totally tactical. It won't stay that way for very long, but Dieter Baumann just content to be there in the front. It's usually a position in which he doesn't find himself. Manuel Pancorbo of Spain has joined the leaders. As he moves up to a fourth position, Bauman and Kennedy continue to run one, two, then Nayariki of Kenya. And now uh, moving by to make a move and take the lead is Khalid Boulami of Morocco. The bronze medalist in the Olympics in 1996. So he's run under 13 minutes, which is really the benchmark in this event now. If you can run under 13 minutes, the world record being 12.44, Daniel Komen is the man in this race who's come the closest. He's the second fastest ever. So, Fumari, again, is just nervous. Somebody wants to go, but he realizes he should be in there running on, on the inside rail, just saving distance so that he can respond. So now we're starting jockeying position, which happens in European tactical races. And he just slowed down and let Bob Kennedy's momentum carry him to the front. Bob doesn't want to be there. And now something else is happening. This, this is a break. This is a surge. This happens very often in these races. Someone will go and try to spread things out. And you can tell that the pace is really picked up because they're all in a line. It's Dionisio Castro of Portugal that does make the move to go by and take the lead. And then the others move right in behind him. Bob Kennedy still there second. Pancorbo of Spain. Dieter Bauman now comes to third past Pancorbo. And Bulami is back now running fifth. Now Castro has just about the slowest personal best time coming into this event of all these runners so he can't stay around until the end plus his specialty really is the longer distances he's in this race in fact i don't know why he wasn't in one of the longer races so he has no choice really when it's this slow he has to take the lead and try to stretch things out he has to tire everyone out as the 5000 continues let's check in with the pole ball competition everyone uh, trying to catch sergey Bubka, dwight stones what about an update Thanks, Dwight, as the 5,000-meter run continues, Dieter Bauman has made a break and moved by to take over the lead with Naya Riki of Kenya going right with him. Bob Kennedy is third. And the usual benchmark time is how long does the surge last? Well, this is the second straightaway of the surge going on one lap, and Bob Kennedy, he knows something's going on. He has to respond. He has to respond, and Bauman is making a definite effort he's making a statement here and he's doing this on purpose he's trying to wear everyone out to slow down a little bit see who comes back and he may even surge again just over six left remaining and bauman and naya Riki. kennedy dropping back just a little bit as coleman takes over third so naya Riki now moves by to take the lead with six to go and we'll be back to athens for the conclusion of the 5000 in just a moment continues the leader is Tom Nayariki of Kenya Daniel Coleman his countryman now goes by to take over the lead so Coleman in front then Nayariki after that El Hassan Lassini of Morocco is in third Bob Kennedy has been steadily dropping back and he is now in seventh place so Daniel Coleman may be making his move right now because he didn't just wait for Tom Nyariki to come back and then tuck in behind him. He went right by, and he's running pretty much at four-minute mile pace right now. He's going under 60 seconds for this 400 meters, and he's really trying to run away and get a lead here. This is not a surge. This is an attempt to win the race. Just over four laps remaining as Daniel Coleman of Kenya leads. His countryman, Tom Nyariki, is second. After that, Khalid Boulami has taken over third. He's from Morocco, and so is the fourth-place runner, Lancini. And Bob Kennedy, who's in fifth, has to bridge this gap. He's got to get up with that group in second, third, and fourth place ahead of him in about one lap, or his medal chances are going to go away. This is where you really find out a lot about yourself, because you have to go at faster pace than they're going. Now, the advantage he has is that Lancini is starting to come back to him. And when you're going down a back stretch and you see something coming back to you with every step, it really helps you. He's got to bridge this gap. Daniel Coleman still has the big lead. Nayariki is second. Then Bulami. Lassini dropping back a little bit. Then after that, Bob Kennedy. Dieter Ballman follows Kennedy. But Daniel Coleman just showing that the ability to run two sub four minute miles. He's run 758.61 for two miles. 
that ability really shows through in a race like this where you have to go very fast get in over your head essentially then slow down and recover and it's just simply a matter of his being able to recover from that surge he made at a faster pace than anyone else now bob kennedy now in fifth place trying to close that back gap on lacini but he doesn't have much time it looks like coleman's away free now we just have to see if bob kennedy can catch up for a medal coleman leading the race there's nyariki in second Bulami third, Lassini fourth, Kennedy fifth. Kennedy, though, not making up any ground. And a ways to go to get a medal. Right now, you'd almost concede the gold medal to Daniel Coleman with just over two laps to run. Well, Tom, the athletes, when these surges are made and you have to respond to them, everybody has to recover. So you hope that what's happening is Bob Kennedy's recovering a little bit. He seems to be coming back now. But this is a lot to make up in 800 meters at the world level. Because ahead of him are athletes who have personal records about the same as his. Daniel Coleman of Kenya continues to roll along. The young man that is 21 years old, one of 14 children. Second fastest all time at 5,000 meters. And looking to claim this world championship. Big lead. He is, as we say, home free. He really is. He's so much better, really, now that you look at it, and you should have known going in, than anyone else in the field. The battle is for the medals, and really, Nayariki in second place is doing a very good job of holding on. Now, Bob Kennedy, it, it really is over for him. He's not going to do it. It's simply a matter of saying, will Nayariki get past for second place by Bulami? That really is the race here. One lap to go until Daniel Coleman can claim his gold. But the battle is for the silver between Tom Nayariki, who has a short lead on Khalid Bulami. Now, they're coming back on Coleman a little bit, but I think it's more that he's resting just to make sure that he doesn't run into a wall here on the last lap. He's got a lot of margin for error down this back straight. Coleman is uh, so dominant. It was a big surprise when he didn't make the Kenyan Olympic team for Atlanta last year. And perhaps here at the World Championships, he's sending a statement. Coleman still there. Nayariki continues to hold off Bulami for the silver as they come to the home stretch for the final time. Daniel Coleman of Kenya. Here's the race for second. Bulami comes up alongside Nayariki and moves by. Khalid Bulami has gone by for the silver medal. Coleman, gold. Bulami, silver. Nayariki, bronze. Looks like Bob Kennedy will finish sixth. So Bob Kennedy gave it his best, but uh, could only finish sixth. As Daniel Coleman had a convincing victory, Kennedy pressed the pace early, but when Coleman made his break, Kennedy was unable to keep up. This was the race, home stretch final time, with Khalid Bulami moving up to challenge Tom Nayariki and going by to take the silver medal. And I think as much as anything, this shows what kind of psychological hold Coleman had on the rest of the field because Bellamy had so much left and yet he wasn't willing to go after Coleman. Bellamy beating out a man who was a sprinter before he came a, became a distance runner. 5,000 meter world champion Daniel Coleman of Kenya. Khalid Bulami silver and Tom Nayariki also from Kenya running third. Bob Kennedy was fifth. 